Hello again. All right, we're gonna start off with some scotch tape. Put that tape on your arm or your hand first and then rip it off before you put it on your eye because it'll take away some of that really harsh stickiness so you're not tearing off your skin around your eye later when you take it off. I love the tape trick, you guys. It catches excess pigment and it also creates a perfect angle, so I'm a big fan of the tape trick. I'm gonna start out by priming my eyelid using our cream eyeshadow in the color Elegant. This is kind of a new thing for me, you guys, is to prime using this cream eyeshadow, but I love it. It goes on like silk. It's the perfect amount of sparkle that you can kind of see through the color too, so I really like it. Uh, for our main color today, we're gonna use the color Awestruck, which is a really pretty sparkly sky blue color. Um, usually when I do my eye makeup, I do three colors, one main color, awestruck for today and then a darker color and a highlight color which I'll show you guys later too. Um, you're gonna put a little bit of that awestruck loose pigment into the cap and then tap it off because you don't need a lot of it and then just pat it onto the eyelid kind of focusing on the center of the eye there. Another thing I do is I keep a shine wipe next to me and that way I can just kind of brush my um, whatever brush I'm using onto the wipe between uses and it keeps my brush wet which I think makes the color go on better and it looks better too. Um, for the second color, for my darker color here, I'm gonna go in using our dark navy blue matte color in Precocious. Again, a little bit goes a long way, so make sure you tap off any excess. And then just go in and tap it onto the outer corner of your eyelid and blend, blend, blend. But make sure you don't go past the middle of your eyelid, okay? Very easy to go overboard here with this dark color, but like I said, you don't need a lot. We don't want a really dramatic effect. Just kind of a subtle, dramatic look on the corner of the eye there. Um, a lot of times I put a dark color in the crease of my eyelid. I'm not gonna do it today because I'll show you in a second why. But for the highlight color, we're gonna use Sassy, which is um, this really pretty pink color. It's super sparkly, really girly. I love it, I use it all the time for a lot of different looks, so you guys will see it again. I'm gonna use my crease brush um, I got it wet first by wiping it onto the wipe and then I tapped it into the cap of the pigment container and just used a little bit. I'm going to go right over my crease here with the Sassy and here's why I didn't um, put any color in my crease because when I use this pink along with the blue together it kind of creates um, a purple in between there which is kind of a natural crease color. And so um, I'm being really careful, I wipe off my brush each time I put more on because I still wanna keep the pink and the blue separate and when they mix together to create that purple, I just want it to be really subtle. But that's why I love using blues and pinks together because I just think that the really pretty purple effect in the middle is just something unique. I've been doing it for a long time. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, blue, by the way, is a really good color if you have brown eyes. I think it gets a bad stigma, but I love blue eyeliners and pigments and eye color with people who have brown eyes. Just love it. Um, I went in again with a little bit more splurge on the inner crease there too, by the way. Um, that's pretty typical in most looks. A little bit of sparkly color or a light color on the inner corner of your eyelid. I'm not a big fan of taking sparkle all the way up to the brow, so you probably won't catch me doing that. For eyeliner, um, I'm not going to use liquid today. I'm going to stick with my... Precision Eyeliner Pencil in black, which is the color Perfect. I love these pencils. They go on well. Um, they last forever. And what I'm doing right now is tight lining. Um, it's a technique where you line the waterline of your upper eyelid. Be very careful when you first start out doing this because it takes a little bit of practice, okay? I've taken the tape off, and then I'm just going to clean up a little bit there around the edge. But for the most part, the tape has given me a really good angled look. I'm just gonna go back in with my black eyeliner and clean up that wing just a little bit. I'm not a big fan of a dramatic wing, um, at least not today for this look, so. But a little wing looks good on everybody. For my bottom, instead of using an eyeliner, I'm gonna actually go back in with that dark navy blue, um, Precocious. I'm gonna use my angled brush, and I like doing this because it's a little bit more subtle than a liner, um, not quite as dramatic and I feel that the angle brush just gives me better control of lining my lower lashes. The eyelash color I'm using is a Shu Yumera. Is that how you say it? I don't know. But um, it's like the holy grail of eyelash curlers, basically. I love it. Uh, you can buy them online. 
they're, I'm guessing roughly $20 to $30, but well worth it. All right, this is the point where you can choose to put falsies on, or if you're like me, you have tossed the falsies out altogether and you can use your 3D mascara. I love this because this would be about the time where before I'd put on my false lashes onto one side and they'd go on perfect. And then for my second eye, I would get like eyelash anxiety and I would get glue everywhere and I would start to get angry and anxious and I'd end up wiping off half my eye makeup because of the glue that I got all over my eyelid. So I love having this mascara as um, an alternative to falsies. Again, we're gonna go in gel first, then the fibers while the gel is still wet, just to the tips, and then sealing the fibers in with a second coat of gel. I'm only doing one coat on my upper lashes today, um, but you can do two, three, or four, just depending on the look you're going for. On my lower lashes, I'm just gonna use the gel as a mascara. I'm not gonna use fibers on my lower lashes today. Um, it's up to you though whether you choose to or not. And then for the waterline on my lower eyelashes, or my lower lid, this is up to you as well. Um, I've always been a big fan of, for me, I have brown eyes, so I really like lining my waterline with a navy blue. It really makes brown eyes pop, like I said. But lately, white liner um, is where it's at. It makes your eyes look bigger. It's just, I think it's a really, really pretty and unique alternative to using a dark color. I'm using Unique um, in the color Pristine. And then for my lips, I have dark eyes, so I'm gonna stick with light lips right now. I'm gonna line them with the color Pouty, which is pretty nude, and I'm gonna line just a little bit on the outside of my lip line because my lips aren't very big. Um, and then I'm gonna just go over it pretty naturally with the color Loyal. It's our clear color, got a little bit of sparkle in it, but I love our liners because they're not sticky. Obsessed with them, they're great. A little bit of bronzer and our color Sunset. Hair down, and I'm ready to go. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this.